make sure you stay hydrated, especially on days like this and hikes like this. But uh, a few weeks ago, this was all just completely dead and snowy, and now it's really, really lush and green and jungly. Looks really, really cool. How is Ray doing? Still catching my breath. Still catching your breath. <clears throat> As each drop of sweat just beads off of him. <laughs> How's Nate doing? Doing good. Doing good. Okay. And Brad is shedding layers here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Righty, we're at our I'm first say, uh, section where we can see um, Sundial Peak right there. It comes in two peaks, the right peak and the left peak. They look like they're the same. Um, they look like they're the same height. But when you're on top of it, the left peak is the highest one, and the right one is the lowest one. And the left one is actually way high. And then the second peak, you go down a ways, and you will be able to look down at the second peak, even though they look the same size. It's kind of an optical illusion. This is Lake Blanche. Right down here, the peak behind it is Sundial Peak. We'll be climbing to the peak that is on the left side. The right side, it looks kind of like the front of the Titanic, is the lower peak. We'll be looking down on that when we're on the top left peak. Um, lake Blanche is one of three lakes. We'll be taking the lake down to the middle one, and then there's the third one. We'll take that third one all the way out to this snowy area, and then we'll come out on the top of there. Um, we're doing pretty good. Our uh, one hiker uh, couldn't make it all the way up, so he ended up down. But we actually picked up another one of our hikers that met us up here at the um, lake, and that's Bernard. So we've got them down there waiting for me, and we're going to check in once it starts getting a little steep up there, and I'll give you kind of a good, good view of what it looks like. See you there. This is looking at Sundial Peak from the side, the right side of it. This part that's coming out, that's the front of it that looks like the Titanic. From this angle, it doesn't look as much like it. Looks much different from this side. The highest peak is actually over here. That's the one we're going to be on, that tiny, narrow peak all the way up. That's the top. This is kind of where our hike begins. We're going to head up these rocks. We've just crossed the third lake here over this rock wall that's built and make our way up. Sundial's also the most photographed mountain peak in Utah. So a lot of people come here to take a picture of Sundial Peak. It's quite iconic actually for Salt Lake. Here is the view of Mount Raymond from this side of Sundial. Right now we're just trekking our way up. We're about this far up, looking down at all this rock we've covered so far. Making a great time. This is looking down at the third lake. And right there is where we were last week. At this point, when you're climbing this mountain, you want to go just section, like only a couple minutes, break, a couple minutes, break, because it is a steep, steep rock climb all the way up. Our peak is still right behind these trees right there. So we still got to go around all this rock and then make our way over to that. We're going to hit this cliff area and scale across that and reach our next checkpoint. How would you describe the steepness so far compared to others? Uh, bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty steep. This is only a 10,300 foot hike, which is a thousand, sometimes 1,500 to even more or less than our usual hikes later in the year. But steep-wise, it'll get you. The snowy parts. When you're hiking on a sunny day, with the snow, the rocks are heating up the area. So you have to be careful where you step, because if you slip, 
and it's all melted underneath, you're just going to fall right through. You really have to watch what your feet are doing. I managed to get one little injury so far because of the, the rocks. So, always when you're climbing like this, watch what you're doing. I don't know if you can hear on the mic here, but we're on like just a ton of rocks. It's just deep, 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 deep rocks. Just layers upon layers. And with the snow melting, there are so many, like down here in this cave, so dark. But if you can hear it, it almost sounds like someone showering in the next room or something in the apartment over. There's just rivers beneath us that are just clear, clear down there, echoing through these rocks. We have a lot of steps to take, a lot of things to grab onto, and the rock is pretty well seated. There's not a whole lot of loose rocks that are going to send you careening to your death, but uh, definitely a steep hike, which we're not even to the steep part of this hike. So it gets even worse. Right now we're climbing the steep part, but using minimal hand um, help. You can pretty much climb it hands-free, but we will reach a point where scrambling and hands are really required, which is a great reason to have um, gloves. I recommend the gloves. And this side of the mountain not a lot of bushes and things to grab onto, like the side of Mount Raymond. And the ones that do grow here are just these prickly, spiny little monsters that don't care about your well-being. Moved into a rock field that is just loose rock now. Now everything's a little more serious because things are breaking and falling. It's just kind of like just a rock pit. You can see the steepness, what we're climbing. Right there, that sawtooth right there is not our peak destination, but that's the beginning of when we are really going to go some steep rock climbing. Once we reach this saddle and look over, we'll be able to look down hundreds of feet on our left and hundreds of feet on our right. So it gets even more scary <laughs> and more rocky, but it's a lot of fun and it's a great, great view from the top. We are going to head up this section now that is still not our peak even though it looks way, way high. You can see how narrow it is just in this frame on the camera. You can see both sides, left and right. So looking down at the side, if you were to fall, there's no going back. On that side, same thing on that side. Okay, we're slowly making station to station to station. That's the best way to do it. There's little flat stations. Right now we're on a flat one. There's a flat one down there. Just to show you, there's the edge all the way down. And we still have quite a ways to go. But we are only just minutes away from our summit. Really? Yes. Oh, cool. So, how's, how's it working out for you, Ray? The adrenaline kicked in and I'm smiling now. Okay, now we're having fun. <laughs> now we're climbing some mountains here. How are you doing? I'm good. You're good? Happy as a clown. Happy as a clown, see? You guys can do this. Okay. Anyone can. See this at the top. <laughs> 